Hey guys, Adam here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a car specific LED profile in SimHub. And we're going to do it today in the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 992 car. That's such a long name. Thank you, Porsche, for that. Um, the reason I'm choosing that car is because number one, it is currently not built into my personal LED profile that I use. Um, and number two, it is more complex because that car has LEDs that go left to right and right to left. And I want to show you how we get all of that done. There's a couple of ways we can do things. Um, so we're, we'll try to keep this as simple as possible for now. You can get a little more detail than what I generally do with the RPM LEDs. But let's just go ahead and jump in. You can see here that we're in iRacing. Um, this is key. I don't know how to set up the RPM LEDs any other way. Um, so I've loaded in the cup car. I am at the centripetal circuit because that's the fastest one to load. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring up SimHub. Now we're going to do a couple of things to get started in SimHub first before we jump in the car and determine when to set our LEDs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an effect here to my existing LED profile. And when you hit add effect, you get this menu that comes up. I've talked about this before. And we want to scroll all the way down to the conditional groups. And we want to double click on when car is the selected model. Double click that and it's going to create a new folder at the bottom of our list here for us. So we're going to just name this real quick. The, the two lines here next to this folder, the bottom line is the one that you can rename. We're just going to name it Cup 992. And now we're going to expand this. And when you expand it, you're going to see the start position and the car model. What we care about first is selecting the proper car model, which in this drop down list is right there Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 992. And there we go. So now what I want to do, this is for personal, uh, I'm going to grab the dots here on the far right. Uh, you can't see that because my camera is blocking it. I apologize. We're going to hold it. We're going to drag so that we can move it up. And now you'll see that Porsche and Porsche are both right here. So let's go ahead and let's expand this right now. Now I'm using the, that's the button I want to push, uh, the grid DDU, which has 20 LEDs, five on the left and right, 10 across the top. The Porsche has 16 LEDs. SimHub views LED number one as the one that is the furthest to the left and down, if that makes sense. So furthest to the left and down on this display is going to be this LED right here. I can't get my finger in there on the lower left hand corner, but I don't want that to be LED number one for this car because that's going to offset all 16 LEDs to the left and it's just going to look weird and it's going to bother me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into SimHub and we're going to offset this by just two. So we want LED number three for this specific dashboard display, whatever you want to call it, to actually be the first LED that SimHub applies everything within this folder to. So now what we get to do is within this folder, we've got our start position. We've got our car selected. We're going to add another effect. And what we are going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to this custom formula status LED. We're going to grab that and it already highlights one red LED. And you can see that on my display here, it is also red. And that's fine. We're going to change it. So what we want, because I know that the first three and the last three on the far right, I guess you would call them, are green. So we're just going to change that to green. And this is only for the first LED. So we're going to click this behavior section right here. We're going to hit edit. Computed value is going to be our good old handy dandy end calc. Open brackets, RPMs is greater than 500. Now I know that that first 
RPM LED on the far left and the far right. Come on, once the RPM count hits 500, I'm gonna show you how I know that in just a little bit. So we're gonna click OK. And now we have our first LED. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually name this down here. So I know what it is for later if I need to come in and fix this. This is just gonna be LED number one. Now what we're gonna do is because LED number one and number 16 are exactly the same, they're treated the same way in the car, we're gonna clone this effect. We're gonna rename this from LED one to LED 16, well, LED one copy, I should say. We're gonna expand this and we're just gonna change the start position to 16. So now when we hop into the car, LED one and 16 will both turn green once the RPM equals 500. Because I cloned that effect, I no longer have to edit all of this. Everything's gonna be the same. I'm just changing what LED that kicks on at. So now we're gonna do the same for LED two, three, 14, and 15. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add another effect in here. We'll scroll down, custom formula status LED. We're gonna open this up. This is gonna start on two. This is going to be green. We're gonna hit edit. And then we're gonna do RPMs greater than 1000. And again, I will get to how I know that in a moment. All right, we're gonna rename this to LED two kind of minimize this. We're going to clone LED 2 because 2 and 14 are the same. So we'll do the same as we did with 1 and 16, and we're going to change this from 2 to 14. Okay, now we got to do the same for, <clears throat> excuse me, 2 and 15 are the same. I screwed that up. This should be number 15. 3 and 14 are the same. So there we go. So there's LED 2 and 14. Again, I'm going to speed through this custom formula status LED. Uh, this one is going to be three. Uh, again, it's green. And number three comes on when RPMs are greater than 1500. And again, I promise I will get to why and how I figured that out. But I just kind of want to blow through this first part because this is easy. Once you know the RPM at where these first three come on, um, it, it gets quite simple. So this is RPM, or not RPM, LED 3, come on keyboard. And then we're going to clone this. Did I set that to 3? Yes. Okay, so this one, LED 3 copy, is actually going to be 14. We're going to change that 3 to 14. So now we've got all of those set. So let's jump into the car and let's go ahead and test. And there we go. We can see that on my dash here. Let me get rid of Sim Hub. Um, so on my dash here, I have the first three LEDs on the side and I have the brightness cranked way up because wow, that's blinding me, matching the first three LEDs in the game. And now if we were to just slowly release the clutch and kill the RPM, you can see that, hopefully you can see that on my dash, and the RPMs in the car in the game are matching. All right, so let's get back out of the car. So now what we wanna do is we want to go in to Sim Hub. Bring this back up, oh, come on, there it is. And we want to add LED number four. That's right. Number four, that's the one I wanted. Okay, so again, custom formula status LED. And this one we're going to name LED. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, Adam, your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. Oh, thank you, Jim. Four, LED number four. And number four, I believe, is yellow. Now what I need to do is I need to set the RPM. So what we're going to do, this is how I do it. You, you can do this a couple of different ways. I have uh, you know, my dashboard up here as well um, with an RPM indicator on it. Um, but if you don't have a display with an RPM indicator on it, I'm going to show you this as well. So we're going to click edit, computed value. And when we type in RPMs, you're going to see down here in this raw result section, 
Raw result is the RPM value that SimHub is currently getting from the game. So if we were to jump into the car, and I'll switch over to race two here so that you can see that we're in the car. All right, let's go back. So now, if you if you can see down here in the raw result, that changes as the RPMs increase. So what I want to do is I'm going to slide SimHub off to the side so I can see as best I can at what point this comes on. It looks like... I got to move this this way a little bit for me. This is a bit tedious. I do apologize, but... All right, so it looks like it comes on at 3,000 RPM. So I'm going to say close enough. So when RPMs greater than 3000 all right there we go we're gonna click ok and now what i want to do is i want to copy this for also led number 13 so clone effect instead of led 4 we're gonna make it led 13 we'll expand this window and we're gonna have it come on at 13 so there we go so let's jump into the car and let's test this out Let's see, are we matching? Oh, here, let me move Sim Hub. I think that looks pretty darn close. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to do this for every other LED in game. And it does get very tedious and very time consuming. I am not going to have you sit through all of that. What I will do is I will post a link to this specific LED profile in the description below. Um, but this is for a 20 LED setup. Uh, so if you've got 16, like your GSI wheel or something different altogether, you're going to have to make some tweaks if you want to use this LED profile, but I am going to show you another way real quick that you can make this work, albeit not quite as accurate as in game. So what we can do is go back into SimHub and I am going to take all of this and we're just going to start a new LED profile. We're going to go with iRacing new profile scroll down the list I passed it I racing and then we're gonna click and we're gonna name this too Porsche cup this is specifically a pickup profile specifically for this car so we're gonna hit OK so we got a brand new blank slate profile we're gonna add the effect the same way as we did at the beginning. We're gonna scroll down, car is selected model. I'm not gonna get fancy with this one because I'm never gonna use this profile. But we are gonna say when the Porsche 911 GT3, we're gonna start it on RPM two. And then what we are going to do is we're gonna add another effect. And we're gonna show a LED solid color segment or gradient based on RPMs. I'm going to do gradient. We are going to do this as not 1 to 16. Oops. We're going to do this as 1 to 8. And we're going to do 1 to 8. Minimum RPM is going to be 500. Maximum RPM is going to be, I don't know what max RPM is. Looks like we're going to say 8,700. And then red line blinking, we want to have the LEDs blink. And start color and end color is going to be blue and red. But let's make it green and red. There we go. Okay, so RPM. Oh, I had minimum RPM percent. I didn't want percent. I wanted 100. Um, I'm going to make this 500. And this 8,700. Apologize, quick and dirty. And now we can see that it's not a perfect match. I mean, it's green, yellow, red. It's close, but we're, we're almost there. Okay, so now we've got this as 500 to 87. And it's close. It's not cool, but it's close. What we're going to do is we're going to clone this effect. And we're going to do 500 to 87 again, but instead of 1 to 
8, we are going to do this start position as 16, and we are going to check right to left this box right down here in the corner. Ooh. And that kind of comes off a little funky. There we go. So I had to adjust it a little bit. I have to offset it. Sometimes you have to play with these things. There we go. Let's go to the in-car cam. Let's move SimHub out of the way. And you can see when you do it this way, when you do it this quick and simple way, it doesn't match in-car. But they do blink when you hit the RPM red line. I mean, it's... We're going to exit the car. There we go. All right. So that's another way to do it. You can do it real quick and real easy that way, um, but you won't match in car, but you can somewhat set car specific. But I want to go back to my, oh, uh, where's my 20 LED profile? There we go. So now we're back in my 20 LED profile. I have way too many scenes set up in OBS. I apologize for all the switching. And... We're going to follow the rest of these steps for all of the other LEDs. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to set another effect. Once we're all done, and we are going to set a doo -doo -doo custom formula status LED. We're going to call this one our red line. Come on. Now red line is going to start on RP or LED number one, and it's going to go for all 16 LEDs. And because in the Porsche it is blue, move this so I can see what I'm doing here. We're going to make it blue. We're going to set our computed values. Red line reached is all we're going to do. We're going to hit OK. Jump back into the car. Let's do this one. There we go. So now you can see my... And you can see that when the LEDs go blue, they go blue here. Now my LEDs are solid, so let's go back in and show you how to make them blink. Okay, so now we're back in here. All you gotta do is a little check this blinky box. That's it. Simple delay or on-off delay. I don't like the on-off delay. I like the simple delay, and you can set the delay value. So right now it's 500. Let's make it blink a little faster. Let's make let's set the delay to 200 milliseconds. There we go. Good enough. Okay, so that's it. This was a quick and simple video. I hope I explained things well enough. It is a tedious process to set car-specific LEDs. Um, I apologize because I did kind of ramble a little bit here and there throughout this video, but if you find that this did help, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Post a little comment down below to help the, uh, the YouTube algorithm. And let me know if I didn't explain anything clear enough. Just post a question down below and I try to stay on top of those as best I can. Occasionally I do miss a question or two and it might take me a day or two even to get back to you, but be patient. Um, life is very busy right now and I'm trying to get these videos out to help you guys as quickly as I can, but that's all I've got for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and we will talk to you next time.